Hey guys, I'm Stevie P and welcome to the show. Do you ever do you ever drive around and look at the houses around you and wonder why you don't have that house? What it is they've done different that allows them to have the house and the car that they have that you don't have? Here, we'll look real quickly here. We got some nice houses here. Now, every day I drive this road and I drive past houses that are, you know, a million, two million bucks. You know, I drive past these wineries. I look at these lake views. And all along the lake are these beautiful homes on the lake millions of dollars some are less than that but most of them are up up near a million bucks at least you see the nice cars you see lots of Hummers and Mercedes and BMWs you ever wonder why it is that you can't have that why some people have it and some people don't I know a lot of people who get very upset because the wealthy people get wealthier and the poor people, or the rest of us, um, don't. They say the divide between rich and poor is increasing. Did you ever stop to wonder why that may be? Did you ever think that maybe the wealthier get wealthier, the wealthy get wealthier because they know something that the poor don't? There's nothing unfair about it. It's about learning what you need to do to get the things you want to have. It's about doing the things that you've learned consistently. You can know how to become wealthy and never become wealthy. I have lots of friends who make far more money than me. And they live a much more lavish lifestyle than me. Do I get better? used to, but then I found out that, that I shouldn't, because the same rules that apply to them also apply to you and I. I live in a crappy old trailer. I paid 20 grand for it. It's almost paid off. It's not a huge burden on my checkbook. So for right now, I'm okay with that. Do I want a million dollar house? Yes, I do. You know what I want? I want a big acreage with a giant uh, cabin on it. Giant log cabin. A great big um, Quonset hut. So I can have all my toys in it. And I want it to be close to the water. Maybe on the water. That'd be great. If I could have, you know, a waterfront front acreage, that'd be fantastic. But I know to do that, it's going to require some things of me that I'm not quite willing to give right now. As much as I want it, I do not want it enough to put in the effort required to get it. I don't want to make those sacrifices. Now the only thing stopping you and I from having those great things really is our attitude and our activity. Now what that means is, those are the only two things in life we can really control. What we do and how our attitude reacts to it. How we react to the things that go on in life. You can choose to have a successful life, but in order to do that, you've got to choose to be awesome. And I'm not saying that in a oh, awesome man kind of way. I'm saying it in a you've got to be better than everybody else. Not physically better at everything, mentally better. You've got to choose that this is what you're going to do. People who have Mercedes don't get them by accident. They make a plan. They put a plan in place. They do what they have to do to be able to facilitate the purchase or lease of said car. Now, a lot of people who have fancy cars can't really afford them. They can't afford to buy them, so they lease them, right? You're not wealthy unless you can afford to buy those things outright. There's a lot of people who don't deserve the things they have, but those people also live with a ridiculous amount of stress, a lot of financial pressure. 
Now, anyone can do that. You know, if you got good credit, you can get whatever you want. Come on, buddy. You can have whatever you want if the bank says, yes, we'll loan you the money. You just owe us X number of dollars a month. But that's not true success, and that's not wealth. What that is, is, is enslavement. You're enslaving yourself to stuff. Do you really need to do that? Probably not. Right? Do you need a Mercedes? No, you don't. But they're really cool to have. You know? When it comes down to spending the money on one, I'd much rather have a big truck. Because I live in a place where a big truck is probably a little more useful to me. But the only difference between them and us is our attitude and what we're, what we're willing to do to get it. So you can't go around life, through life, whining because you don't have the stuff you want. You have exactly what you have chosen to have. And if you want more, it's going to require more of you. Is it worth it to gain the whole world and lose your family? No. Is it worth it to gain the whole world and lose your soul? No. There is certain things you do not give up for wealth, for power, for fame, whatever it is that's your driving force. Because in the end, on your last days, on your deathbed, you're not going to be like, oh, I wish I made one more business deal. You're not. You're going to be wanting just a little bit more time with your family. So think about what's truly important to you. Think about it. Truthfully, just sit down think about the things that really matter. And then focus on that. I guarantee you'll be happier than if you had all the wealth in the world. But if you want all the wealth in the world, you can have it. You really, truly can. All you've got to do is be willing to sacrifice. Because that's what it's going to take. There's no luck involved. It's all about taking chances and going and doing it and putting your neck out there, putting your butt out there, putting your sweat equity out there, putting your blood into it. And you can have it. You can have that nice lifestyle. You can have the nice cars. You can have the freedom to play golf in the middle of the week. You can go on vacations around the world. But you need to think about it. You've only got so much time in a day. You've only got so many hours. You've only got so much energy. What do you choose to do with that? Those choices will determine where you end up. Make a plan for your life because without a plan, you have nothing. And when you make a plan, make sure you have a system that you can follow so that you can make sure that you do everything every day that you need to do to achieve your goals. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. And you're going to, you know, 10 years from now, look back and be like, oh, it didn't happen. I wish, I wish, I wish I could have. I wish, I wish, I wish I would have. And you got a life of regrets. Don't have regrets. Live your life to the full. Live today as if you're going to die tomorrow. Seriously. Because we're not promised tomorrow. Live your life today as if you're going to die tomorrow. You'll have a much more fulfilled life. Do the important stuff. Don't get caught up in the stuff you can't, can't change. There's a war happening across the world. There's nothing you can do to change that. Stop stressing about it. If there's a way you can help, then so be it. But stop worrying about all the bad stuff that's happening somewhere else because it doesn't do anything to improve your life. Don't get me wrong. Help where you can. But do not get stressed and caught up in stuff you cannot change. It will take away from the important stuff that goes on in your life right now. I'm Stevie P. You can be as successful as you want to. I just drove past a really nice Bentley 